I'm Rachelle Gray for Culture Rocks. We are here at Coconut Bay to check out the lovely painter, artist, interior designer, Nakazi Tofari. Goddess, did I mention that as well? Come, let's check her out. I was always drawn to nature and I love to search the beaches for natural treasures. One of the main ideas and the themes that runs through the work is a desire to use what is n natural from the environment. Right. A lot of the art is created out of imported materials predominantly and it's very expensive mm. and so in Jamaica we have the saying Tony Han and make fashion which is to use your hands to create something that is made from our local materials so that you can create something now and generate sustainable income. So the use of the natural materials which runs through the work, the entire body of work, I do all kinds of different types of work, okay. but the use of the natural materials is sort of like my trademark in which I search for um, different there's an abundance, a wealth of different kinds of materials. Wherever I go, I find new materials. Mm -hmm. I, I explore the environment, I pick stuff, that's part of my process. Right. And so each of the pieces would reflect the environment in which I'm creating it in. Like for example, when I'm in Miami, there are different trees there, there are different materials I can only get there. Mm -hmm. These ones, for example, come, the best of these are in Barbados. So whenever I'm in Barbados, I collect these. Even when I was a kid, I had this sort of conflict with my family who were like, why are you bringing this junk into the house? And I'd be like, oh, it's, it's not junk, it's my art. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like, through sculpture, I was able to transform that uh, material into something now that people can reflect on, that they recognize. And art is really about self-revelation, it's about identity. So for me, my art deals with um, Afro-Caribbean heritage, uh, natural beauty, uh, woman as goddess, woman as um, the mother, the maternal, yeah. natural, environmental connection to the earth. That's one of the main things. I also do with issues of race, gender, equality, uh, vulnerability, the body, yeah. and so these are themes that I'm constantly working through because it's sort of a process where through your art you heal yourself, you strip away layers and um, examine what's underneath mm -hmm. and in a sense art has always been my salvation because it's the thing that liberates me from the confines of Western culture and society because I do a lot of black and white masks to talk about mixed heritage and about the duality of the identity of a mixed heritage person mm -hmm. you know um, you know our blackness as well as the fact that you'll see a lot of them are cracked because there's the shattering of the idea that's what it cracks up oh, okay. it's partly about that the um, I think the, the cracks represent brokenness shatteredness uh, this is a process, but to me, they're symbolic of the shattering within the soul. Yeah. You know, because we're all a little broken, you know, <laughs> we go through different things. Yeah. And that art is always revealing and expressing yourself is to me one of the greatest forms of healing. Being an artist, it's a very, it's an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. It's like a martyrdom. It takes undying commitment to succeed. Mm -hmm. And there is questions about what success is. But I chose to do the thing that I love the best. Right. And then part of the struggle is how do you make that sustainable? How do you live that life that you really want to live? Mm -hmm. uh, because you are in ways enslaved by your own practice as well, by your own I'm self-employed, so it's not the demand of a boss or anything, but it's my own rigors of my own discipline and my own self, 
um, right. discipline. The, the place that you want to be, that you set for yourself, as opposed to reaching somebody else's goal, you have your own goals and you have to be, you have to adhere to them. To me, it's uh, the path of the warrior. Mm -hmm. And the path of the warrior requires that the warrior be disciplined and yes. impeccable. But you know, there's people think that freedom is about discipline. I say, if you know, you have freedom and you don't have discipline, you have chaos. You have to, freedom is discipline. You know, that's very profound. And to me, freedom is its own gilded cage. Yeah. Because we are never absolutely free. free. The only yeah. thing that will free us is death.